Hey, I'm Brent. Thanks for watching Steam Culture. Welcome back, or welcome if it's your first time. Hope you enjoy today's episode because we're going to talk about steam powered submarines. In fact, one of the first designs that led to the modern submarine design. Now, in the late 1800s, a Spaniard by the name of Narcis Monturial, if I have that correct, created the Ictaneo, which was basically olive wood wrapped in copper. But as you can see from the image, it looks very similar to modern design. Well, this was actually powered by four dudes pushing bike pedals that moved some sort of gearing apparatus at the back to make it move. Could go about one mile an hour. Didn't get very far. Well, it was in dock in Barcelona and it was crushed by a freight ship. So, Monturial thought, I'm gonna build a bigger one this time, powered by steam. So he built one that was twice as big and it was powered by steam, but here's the interesting thing. The thinking at the time was if you put a boiler and a steam engine in an enclosed, self-contained submarine underwater, it's gonna use up all the oxygen and it's gonna create an oven out of the place. But Monturial was smart cat, really smart. I'm gonna read this to you because I will forget the name of this, but essentially what he did is he made a chemical furnace so that the heat would be created by chemical reaction. Listen to this. Potassium chlorate, zinc, and manganese dioxide produced enough heat to run a steam engine. Not only that, but the, the byproduct of that chemical reaction is oxygen. So it made oxygen for the sub, which was, to me, just brilliant. And Montreal, for his efforts, got a stamp made after him in 1987. Nicely done, France, nicely done. So we will put a link in the description down below of this brilliant design, and would love for you to go look at that. But before you do, I would love for you to stop by our site because we also have neat inventions and articles and videos and all kinds of stuff that you can fill your day with. Come see us for all kinds of content each and every week. You know each and every Friday you're gonna get a new steam culture from me, Brent. I will see you next Friday. Thanks for joining us.